if you plan on traveling this holiday season, you have to listen to this. It turns out that long traveling a long distance can be bad for your health. Why? Well, when you sit for a long period of time, you can develop a certain type of blood clot that can be life-threatening. Dr. Kevin Campbell is here this morning with more. Doc, good to see you. Good to see you, Phil. It's called DVT, deep vein thrombosis, right? Am I yes, getting that right? exactly. What is that? So when we sit for long periods of time, blood pools in the veins in our legs, our lower extremities, mm. and this blood clot can form in the deep veins inside your calf. And when that happens, it's called a DVT or deep vein thrombosis. And the risk is that clot can break off and go to the lungs, causing an even more severe problem called pulmonary embolus. What are some of the symptoms? So the DVT, the things to look out for are redness, swelling, or pain in one calf. It usually doesn't happen on both sides. It's one or the other. Okay. And those are the most important things to think about when you start to have those symptoms. And it, you say this comes from, from sitting for a long period of time. So this can I mean, this can happen really any time, right? If, you're, if you work a job or you sit for a long period of time, it can also develop as well. It can, but for the most part, it's really sitting in confined spaces, like in a car, in right. a plane, where you can't move around very easily. Because even sitting at a job, you're going to get up and go to the restroom yeah. and do some other things. When you sit on a plane for a long period of time, it really can put you at increased risk for DVT, particularly if you have other medical conditions as well. What are some of the consequences? The biggest thing that we worry about is pulmonary embolus. When a piece of that blood clot breaks off, goes through the circulation, and lodges in the lungs, you become short of breath, mm. you can have chest pain, and actually it can precipitate death. I mean, it is a life-threatening emergency of pulmonary embolus. Serious stuff. What can we do to prevent it? So the best thing you can do is if you're driving in the car on a family trip across country or to see grandmother for uh, the holidays, is stop every two hours and walk around for just 10 minutes. It's good for you to recirculate the blood out of the legs. Right. If you're in a plane, that's a little more difficult. So try to get an aisle seat so you can get up and walk the hallway or try to flex your calves and move your feet up mm -hmm. and down about every 30 minutes to 40 minutes. It makes a big difference. And then you won't develop a DVT. No doubt about that. Dr. Kim Campbell, good stuff as always. We all just got a little smarter this morning. Good to Pop. see you. <laughs> of course, if you have a question for Dr. Kevin Campbell, really easy. Log on to our website, WNCN.com. Click on links we mentioned. From there, you can find Dr. Campbell's website, or you can like his Facebook page and his Twitter.